1984 was a dystopian social science fiction novel and cautionary tale written by English writer George Orwell. It was published in June of 1949 and centers on the consequences of totalitarianism, mass surveillance, and repressive regimentation of people and behaviors within society. Orwell modeled the totalitarian government in the novel after Stalinist Russia and Nazi Germany. The story takes place in an imagined future the year 1984, when much of the world has fallen victim to perpetual war, omnipresent government surveillance and propaganda. Mm, sounds familiar. The novel examines the role of truth and facts within politics and the ways in which they, truth and facts, are manipulated to control the people, where a few, and in this case, a persona named Big Brother, dictates the rules, rules for everything, what you can say, what you can do, who you can love, even what you can think. And there is a ministry for each. And the people, like zombies, willingly agree to be herded like cattle, like sheep, just to survive. In the novel, it's rather fascinating. There are ministries, which I told you about, which concern themselves with various forms of controlling the masses through propaganda. The Ministry of Peace deals with the ongoing constant wars the world is experiencing. In the novel, the country of Oceania is one of three that are fighting. The Ministry of Food dealt with the rationing Oceania was subjected to. The Ministry of Plenty was responsible for rationing the scarce food supply. And the Ministry, this one, the Ministry, folks, of Truth is responsible for any necessary falsification of historical events, also known as propaganda. The main character, Winston Smith, worked in the most important ministry in Oceania, the Ministry of Truth. The Ministry of Truth is the Ministry of Propaganda, basically. As with other ministries in the novel, the name Ministry of Truth is a misnomer because it really serves the opposite. It's responsible for any necessary falsification of historical events. Think about that for a second. Watch. Times 14284, page 3, by line 2, should read, Miniprod forecast increased chocker ration April 1984 from 20 to 25 grams per week. So the Ministry of Truth right there, see what he's doing? That's Winston Smith. He's the, he's the main character. He's scratching out a news headline, a newspaper headline, and changing it and throws it into an incinerator. The Ministry of Truth is involved with the news media, entertainment, the fine arts, and educational books. Its purpose is to rewrite history, to change the facts, to fit party doctrine for propaganda effect. Does that sound familiar? For example, if Big Brother makes a prediction that turns out to be wrong, the employees of the Ministry of Truth correct the record to make it accurate. So why am I going through a lengthy, and hopefully interesting narrative on the Orwell classic 1984, because I believe history repeats itself. Orwell wrote 1984 as a cautionary tale about the dangers of censorship, the evils of totalitarianism, the ex existential risk to America that a bigger and bigger government with more and more control over our lives poses. Big government controlling more of our lives is the reason I'm a libertarian. I believe government should get the hell out of my life, get out of my bedroom, get out of my news consumption, and get the hell out of my wallet. It's insane. Stalin would be proud of Joe Biden right now. I mean, these people have had no problem lying to us over and over and over again, thousands of times. Joe Biden lies about the most important things and he lies directly to the camera, looking the American people in the eyes, and then he lies. Your military advisor did not tell you, no, we should just keep 2,500 troops. It's been a stable situation for the last several years. We can do that. We can continue to do that. No, no one said that to me that I can recall. Wow, he lied right there, folks, because his own General Kenneth McKenzie told us the real story. It was emphasized to us from General Miller that we, uh, that uh, we, he was recommending that 2,500 troops uh, in Africa, uh, in Afghanistan. Did you talk to the president about General Miller's recommendation? 
So I was present when that discussion uh, occurred. Mm -hmm. And I'm confident that the president heard all the recommendations and listened to them very thoughtfully. Yeah, you see that? You see that right there, folks? And now we know. Now we know that he knew, Biden knew, when he made that comment that he didn't know. And we also know that 23 days prior to Biden allowing 13 U.S. service members to be ambushed at, Ka at the Kabul airport and killed, a group of two dozen U.S. diplomats sent a cable to Secretary of State Antony Blinken warning him of the coming attack, meaning Biden lied and people died. Full stop. They all lied. Remember how Vice President Kamala Harris got caught lying live on air when Lester Holt asked Kamala, the borders are, why she never went to the border? Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, I'm here in Guatemala today. I, at some point, you know, I, we are going to the border. We've been to the border. So you, this whole this whole this whole thing about the border, we've been to the border. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't <laughs> been to Europe. And I, I, mean, I don't I don't understand the point. Caught. Caught. Live on TV. Lying. They lie and they hope we forget. But we don't. And we have video to prove it. And we'll continue to show it. The mouthpiece for the president, Jen, Jen, Jen Saki, Saki bomb, is a habitual liar at the briefing room lectern. Something that was supported by the American Jobs Plan uh, that was support that was voted into law by Democrats just a couple of months ago. Some might say that the other party was for defunding the police. I'll let others say that. They lied about police. So if I end up spending two hundred thousand, if I spend ten, ten, ten more dollars on it, you know what? I get to be here to do the work. So suck it up and defunding the police has to happen. Oh, suck it up, Buttercup, right? You get your cops, you get your detail, but we have to suck it up, Buttercup. Got it. They lied about the border. We inherited a broken and dismantled system that is already under strain. It is not built to manage the current right. levels and types of migratory flows. Only Congress can fix this. Yet, we have effectively managed an unprecedented number of non-citizens seeking to enter the United States all right. No, you didn't inherit anything. The board was fine before you got there. And no, you're not effectively managing anything. It's a disaster. It's a crisis of epic proportion. You lied. You lied. Then they lied about inflation. My administration do everything we can to address it. But again, these disruptions are temporary. Economists call all these things transitory effects. Transitory. And they account for about 60 percent of the price increases we've seen over the last few months. Transitory, except it's still there and it's going forward and it'll be around for a long time. They even lied about the lie they lied about when they lied about inflation. Putin's invasion of Ukraine has driven up gas prices and food prices all over the world. The two of largest grain producers in the world, China and uh, should be Ukraine and Russia are not doing what they usually do, so everything's going up. We saw today's inflation data. Seventy percent of the increase in prices in March came from Putin's price hike in gasoline. Mm. No, 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 not Putin's price hike. Yours, Joe, all yours, not Putin. Can't blame it on him. See the pattern. Politicians lie. They do now. They always have. They just do it more and more often under Biden, Harris, Pelosi and the squadsters and the other cockroaches running around lying. The media, they lie with reckless abandonment, too. And when the media lies, it's even worse. I mean, we all expect politicians to lie, but the media is supposed to hold truth on a pedestal. But this media is more concerned with protecting this liberal agenda than it is with its own credibility. I mean, really, MSNBC? clear in how I characterize this. This is a, mostly a protest. Uh, it, is not, uh, it is not, generally speaking, unruly, but fires have been started. <laughs> okay. All right. Whatever, Ali. Not mostly peaceful. Uh, you know, CNN picked up on that one, too. CNN, really? Well, well, that's ours up there, but the, actually the banner below it says, CNN's own banner says, Fire, fiery but mostly peaceful protest. 
Are you kidding me? Lamestream media is just a propaganda wing of the communist running government, much like in Orwell's 1984. Big Brother, government controlling our every move, mandates and lockdowns. Joe, Dr. Flip Flop, and the Ministry of Truth is the mainstream media rewriting history to make Big Brother happy. Right, Ali Velshi, and that reporter on the scene of the, quote, fiery but mostly peaceful protest? You people are buffoons and should be reassigned to the cat stuck in the tree stories from here on out. That's all you're qualified for, fellas. So no, Joe, no way are we Americans going to look the other way while you try to give government the power, more power, but the power to decide what is true and what is fake, the power to rewrite history. No way do we let you, big brother, turn America into a dystopian hellhole Orwell warned about 73 years ago. Man, was he ever onto something, wasn't he? Almost like Orwell saw the Biden as president future. Scary how accurate he was. If we let them get this through, I can imagine a future where the liberal ministry of misinformation decides to mandate drugs. I don't know, lock us down in our homes, dictate who we can celebrate holidays with. And when we can't, oh, wait a minute, they already did that. That's already happened in Biden's America. Let's not do that again, folks, because here's the deal. I believe those who don't know history and furthermore, those who don't learn from historical mistakes are condemned to repeating them. Lord Acton is credited with saying this piece of wisdom, quote, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. We need to fight this insane idea of a ministry of truth, what they call Department of Misinformation or whatever, board. With all we have, all we have, we got to fight back. It's absolute power they seek, and that, friends, always, always ends badly. This was the Apple commercial that changed the computer world. They saw the dangers of Big Brother and the importance of being a disruptor. We need this Apple lady more than ever right now. Is more powerful a weapon than any fleet or army on earth. We are one people with one will, one resolve, one cause. Our enemies shall talk themselves to death, and we will bury them with their own conclusion. We shall. Coming up, what Republicans in Congress are going to do about Biden's new Ministry of Truth plus new testimony from Mayorkas today where he admits things are going to get worse on the southern border before they get better.